Hello everyone, welcome to Bedtime Story from the George Hall, Early On Symptoms. My name is Miss Patricia. I'm happy that you're here today. All of our story time incorporates how does learning happen. The four foundations of learning are belonging, well-being, engagement, and expression. When children feel a sense of belonging and a sense of well-being, they are in a better position to engage and express their ideas. So my friends, let's sing The More We Get Together. <coughs> the more we get together, together, together. The more we get together, the happy we'll be. Because your friends are my friends, my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier will be. And now let's shake our sillies out. We're gonna shake, shake, shake our sillies out, shake, shake, shake our sillies out, shake, shake, shake our sillies out, and wiggle the waggles away. We're gonna clap, clap, clap our crazies out, clap, clap, clap our crazies out, clap, clap. Clap our crazies out and wiggle the waggles away. We gonna jump, jump, jump our jiggles out, jump, jump, jump our jiggles out, jump, jump, jump our jiggles out and wiggle the waggles away. We gonna jog, jog, jog our jitters out, jog, jog, jog our jitters out, jog, jog. Jog our jitters out and wiggle the waggles away. We gonna stretch, stretch, stretch our stretches out, stretch, stretch, stretch our stretches out, stretch, stretch, stretch our stretches out and wiggle the waggles away. We gonna yawn, yawn, yawn our yarn is out, yawn, yawn. Yarn or yarn is out, yawn, yawn, yarn or yarn is out and wiggle the waggles away. Twinkle, twinkle, little stars, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. When the blazing sun is set, when the grass with dew is wet, then you show your little light. Twinkle, twinkle, all the night. The moon up above is big and round, big and round, big and round. The moon up above is big and round, up in the sky. The moon up above is big and wrong, big and wrong, big and wrong. Moon up above is big and wrong, near the star. The moon up above is big and wrong, big and wrong, big and wrong. The moon up above is big and wrong, clear and bright. Okay, my friends, <clears throat> who can tell me what do we do before we go to bed? Yes, you're right. We brush our teeth. So let's get our toothbrush, <coughs> put our toothpaste on. Now let's sing our song. This is the way we brush our teeth, brush our teeth, brush our teeth. This is the way we brush our teeth before we get ready for bed. This is the way we brush our teeth, brush our teeth, brush our teeth. This is the way we brush our teeth before we get ready for bed. And my friends, now that we've finished brushing our teeth, what is the next thing we should do? You're right, put our pajamas on. So let's put our pants on. Now we put our shirt on. <coughs> Okay, my friends, so you can sit on your bed, you can sit on the floor or in a chair, wherever you're comfortable. 
And Miss Patricia has a book that she's going to read tonight. The Bear and the Piano. And it's written by David Litchfield. So let's see what's happening here with the bear and the piano. <clears throat> One day in the forest, a young bear cub found something he never seen before. What could this strange thing be, he thought. Slowly he touched it with his stubby paws. Plunk! The strange thing made an awful sound. So the bear left. But the next day he came back. And the next day after that too. And for days and weeks and months and years until eventually, what do you think is happening now? Hmm, it looked like the bear grow. So now he can really see the keys on this thing. He doesn't know what the name is. I'm not going to give it away. Let's read and see if we'll find out what the name of this thing is. The sound that came from the strange thing were beautiful. And the bear had grown big and strong and grizzly. When the bear played, he felt so happy. The sun took him away from the forest. And he dreamed of strange and wonderful lands. So he loved playing this strange thing. But he still doesn't know the name. I wonder if any one of my friends know the name of this strange thing. It wasn't long before the other bears in the forest were drawn to the clearing. <clears throat> Every night, a crowd gathered to listen to the magical melodies coming from the bear and the strange thing. Then one night, a girl and her father came across the clearing. They told the bear that the strange thing was a piano, and the song it made were music. Come to the city with us, they said. There is lots of music there. You can play grand pianos in front of hundreds of people and hear songs, of be songs so beautiful they will make your forest stand on end. The bear knew that if he left the forest, the other bear would be very sad. So now the bear found out it's a piano and it plays music. The song that they hear and it's called music. <clears throat> so little, let's see if the little girl, the bear will go to the little girl and her father. But he longed to explore the world beyond beyond the woods, to hear more wonderful music and to play bigger and better than before. And before long, yes, he did went with the girl and her father. Hmm. <clears throat> the bear name was up in big bright lights in the big bright city. Look at the bright city, look at that. The bear and the piano. His picture is there. And I think he's on Broadway. Hmm. He played sold out concerts in giant theaters. Every night he performed with such passion, such grace. 
to wild applause, to standing ovations, and huge admiration. The Bear recorded albums that went platinum. He was interviewed for magazines. He won awards. He met new people every day. He create, created high headlines everywhere he went. The city was everything he had hoped it would be, but deep down something tugged at his bear's heart. He had famed and awards and all the music in the world, but he missed the forest. He missed his old friends. He missed his home. So the bear decided to go back home. He speedily crossed the river and excitedly pounded into the forest. He couldn't wait to tell his friends about his time in the city. But when the bear reached the familiar clearing, it was empty. No piano, no bears, no anything. The bear started to worry that his friends had forgotten him or that they were angry that he had left them behind. Now he's feeling sad. Then a friend stepped into the clearing. Hello, cried the bear. I'm back. I missed you so much. Without saying a word, the gray bear ran back into the trees. Wait, called the bear. I'm sorry I left. Please stop. But his friend just kept running. The bear stumbled after him, moving deeper and deeper into the forest until he saw something that made his fur stand on end. I wonder what that he saw. <clears throat> For the bear had not been forgotten. His friends weren't angry, but proud. The bear realized that no matter where he went or what he did, they would always be there watching from afar. They had even kept the piano safe in the shade, ready for his <coughs> return. Do you see his friends? Did wasn't angry and they missed him but they kept his piano and look at all these everything is records everything they have here shirts all these pictures they have so they were happy for him when he was away so after the bear had told his friends about his life in the city the many concerts he had played, he sat down to play once more, this time for the most important audience of all. The end.
and friends, wasn't this a lovely book? Yes, I think so, and I know my friends, I know you guys love this book too. So you know what? Let's sing if you're happy and you know. Miss Patricia will stand for this. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hand. If you're happy, you know it, clap your hand. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hand. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, turn around. If you're happy and you know it, turn around. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, turn around. If you're happy and you know it, let's do a dance. If you're happy and you know it, let's do a dance. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, let's do a dance. Come on, my friends, I know you can dance. Yay! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it and you really want to shoot, if you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! Okay, my friends. <clears throat> Now, let's do a bit of breathing so we can calm down. <sighs> okay. So, my friends, I sure remember we're going to breathe in. When Miss Patricia breathe in, the ball would expand. So I'm going to breathe in through my nose. Out through my mouth. Okay, so let's start. In. Out. In. Tickle the stars because this is the end of our circle. <clears throat> tickle the stars, tickle our toes, turn around and tickle our nose. Reach down low, reach up high. Story time is over, so with goodbye. Bye, my friends.